Today, there's like, what, five million open jobs, the largest since 2001. If you're looking for a job, it's a good time to be looking. 15% or half a million of those jobs are in tech, and they pay 50% more than the average private sector job. And two thirds of those tech jobs, they're not at Google, they're not at Twitter, they're in non-tech industries like healthcare and finance. So what's happening in computing? So as we mentioned earlier, there's about 1.4 million jobs that are open in the computing related fields. 29% of these jobs are gonna be filled by US graduates. And 3% of that 1.4 million are gonna be filled by women. The fastest growing job in this bucket is a computer science engineer which often requires a computer science degree. And study after study shows that the existing configuration of skills is not gonna match the future requirements of employers. Companies have jobs, can't find appropriate workers, workers wanna work, but they don't have the skills to, find, to match those jobs. So it essentially all comes down to education. And the most shocking part of this talent shortage is gender. In 2009, there were 2.5 million college-educated women with STEM degrees compared to 6.7 million men. The gender gap in computer science is really growing. Again, the T and the E in STEM. So let's talk about that. In 1984, 37% of all computer science graduates were women. Today, that number is less than 18%. So if you look at a picture of Steve Jobs' original Apple team in the 80s, there was a lot of women on that team. If you look at any technology team now at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, you name it. There are barely any women. Something has dramatically changed. In fact, there's been an 80% decline in the last 10 years alone. As we are becoming more te technologically sophisticated, we, as we are more reliant on our devices, we are pushing women out. And it matters because 71% of all these STEM jobs that we keep talking about, they're in computer science. And women are not filling those jobs. And this is a huge problem from an economic perspective. So why should we care about this issue? Well, the first thing is innovation. There's no question that technology is spurring innovation. The digital age has transformed our workforce. And if the participation of women continues to remain stagnant, we are gonna be missing out. We are building this movement together, and the only reason why we're able to do this is because the companies in this country, across the world, have signed up and they've raised their hand. They said, you know what, we need this. We need this talent and we're gonna invest in building it. We have now essentially become the official recruiting pipeline for the future engineers, female engineers of America. And I ask each of you to put that pressure to, you know, on your companies and the folks who are the decision makers to make that change with us. The girls need us. Thank you.